Hi Year 13s, uh, here we're looking at a video discussing the nature of graphs. It sounds very philosophical, uh, as if we're talking about the nature of life itself. Um, but uh, I guess it is philosophical in a sense, because we're looking at graphs in an abstract form, and thinking about um, what is happening to graphs uh, across their range. Um, so if you look at this graph here, we can see it's going up, and then it comes down, and then it goes up, all terribly profound. Um, but as mathematicians, what we are interested in is where it changes from going up, and it starts going down. And likewise, where it changes from going down, it starts going up again. Um, these are significant parts of our graphs, because in a context, they're often significant as well. You know, think of something like um, economic growth. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to people when economic growth will decline, or when it will increase. So in this example here, we've got, um, we're asking for what values of this function is it decreasing? And so um, whenever we're talking about um, increase, decrease, or I any change in a function, we're really going to be talking about its um, derivative. So I'm going to start by differentiating this function. So the derivative of that function is going to be 6x squared minus um, 6x. And if I am going to think about uh, where it is decreasing, well, it's going to be decreasing when its gradient is negative. So in other words, when the gradient of the function is going down, it's going to be negative. And that's going to happen um, where our gradient function dips below zero. So really, I want to be solving this equation for where 6x squared minus 6x is less than 0. And that's the function I'm going to solve. So I'll start by dividing both sides by 6. And so I get x squared minus x equals, uh, sorry, is less than 0. And you can see here we've got a quadratic. So we've got x um, times x minus 1 is less than 0. So we need to think about where this function is less than 0. So I'm just going to do a tiny little sketch on the side here and draw out that graph. It's going to look something like this, okay, where it intercepts the x-axis at those two points. So since we've factorised it, we can see that those two points are 0 and 1, and so our graph is going to be below 0 between those points. And so we can say that between 0 and 1, our graph is going to be decreasing. And so we'll write a, an answer as a sentence as well. So our function f of x will be decreasing. Okay, and that's it. So just remember that whenever you're looking at any aspect of a graph, you are looking at the, gr the gradient function, so that's what you get when you differentiate. And by setting that gradient function to zero, that's where you can find if the gradient is going up or down or changing. And so incidentally, at these points zero and one, we're going to have either a maximum or a minimum. Okay, have a go at exercise 16.01. Um, and 16.02, and uh, that is where I'll finish this video.